My name is Sam Kissel. I am the Council's authorized representative for the Hopkins Rail Support Facility construction contract, part of the Green Line extension. The Hopkins Rail Support Facility is located adjacent to the Shady Oak Station in Hopkins, approximately at the midpoint of the 14 and a half mile Green Line extension. Unlike our large operations and maintenance facilities, or OMFs, we don't do any maintenance on the light rail vehicles there, but we really function as a maintenance base for our traction power, track, and signals and communication facilities. Whenever we extend a system, whenever we make a large functional change to a system, we want to make sure that we're not just thinking about capacity or length of the alignment, but also how we're going to maintain it how we're going to make sure that it can function at its peak. And facilities like the rail support facility allow us to do that. Our main purposes as a system are efficient, functional, and above all, safe transit to the public. If we have any issues along the alignment, whether that's a fault in the electrical systems or a break in the track or needed snow removal necessarily, we'll have teams that are housed out of the Hopkins Rail Support Facility that will be able to be uh, deployed along the alignment. That allows us to make sure that when we do encounter issues, we're able to remedy them efficiently, expeditiously, and with minimal disruption to the public. We issued notice to proceed to our contractor in July of 2024. Site work is mostly completed. We paved our parking lot recently, as well as poured our hardscapes, sidewalk, curb and gutter. We started landscaping. In terms of the physical building itself, we have the foundations and floor systems completed, as well as the structural steel. We just recently completed the interior concrete masonry. And then the next phases that we're gonna be getting into are our heating, ventilation, and air conditioning, or HVAC systems. A lot of what people think of as the faces of Metro Transit are our network of operators who do incredible work. Who we don't see are the traction power maintainers, the track maintainers, the signal comm maintainers, signal communications maintainers that in a lot of ways are in the shadows that work out of our operations and maintenance facilities, our rail support facilities, and who don't really face the public, but they really are the people who keep our alignments up and running, and we definitely couldn't function without them. The weight of public trust and public accountability is something that really resonates with me. A big part of why I value having a professional engineer license is because of really the ethical ramifications of what I do. And I think everything that we do with the council is based on public service. To know that what I'm doing impacts the community is something that I don't take lightly and something that I know is really significant, not just to myself and to my family, but to yours, to people that I don't know, to our network of operators, our network of maintainers, and our network of writers that really at the end of the day are relying on me for a quality project and a quality product at the rail support facility. and. It's a responsibility that I don't take lightly. It's a responsibility that I'm really proud of. It's a responsibility that I'm really grateful for. And it's something that I think at the end of the day brings a lot of pride for me into what I do.